I've seen a lot <laughs> in terms of actually just being out in the valley. Mm-hmm. And I mean, listen, for what's happening right now, uh, I think that when we think about Gmail, if you anybody in here got a Gmail account, mm-hmm. everybody got a Gmail account. When you sign up for Gmail, you're giving Google permission to just, you know, anonymously take your data mm-hmm. and get smarter, right? But what I what when when I went out there the last time, uh, one of the conversations I was having was that uh, email is only kind of like an afterthought. The real business, the real value is happening in just the regular conversations, the phone conversations, the in-person conversations, which is why they had to put microphones in your actual cell phone so that people can actually, I don't know, create like a, a an actual, um, create create like a, a, a real map of what's actually going on in humanity. So like Instagram is a really nice map. Facebook is a nice map of your relationships. Right. But... Um, until you guys started recording these and putting them on YouTube, et cetera, so a much wider audience could get to them, mm-hmm. the information is very siloed. Or, and so uh, I think that, you know, as much as we're, I'm joking about yeah. like, hey, you know, this is what can happen after the grave, I think that technology companies are working on on um, applications that allow me to be able to talk to my great 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 grandkids because they'll have some sort of like hologram like a so profile they, yeah a hologram. For sure. like tony stalks at the end of end game yeah and what's even more crazy about it is it won't actually just be a recording it will be some sort of like uploading of AI. my mental capacity so it will actually say okay this is how your great 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 grandfather would respond but it's not a recorded response that's it's the next wave that, yeah uh-huh. i keep telling you niggas man i keep telling y'all listen like we are in a very, very, very early stage of social media and of interactive, lifelike technology. You need to be putting out as much content as you can. I'm gonna give y'all some tips on how you can put out more content and exactly why you need to and where. Stay locked. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pod. My name is Dorian from group82music.com and right here we got tech millionaire Ryan Leslie talking about all the shit that you be assuming it really is going on. So Ryan said he has spent some time in the valley. God scratching the back of my ear feel good in the motherfucker right now. Shit. Ryan Leslie said he spent time in the valley. In the valley for anybody that knows what he's talking about, he's talking about Silicon Valley. What is Silicon Valley? It's an area in Northern California, essentially San Francisco, where all the massive tech companies exist. It started in the late 60s, early 70s, when um, Apple and all those companies were out there, and it just kind of remained this hub of tech. It is where a shit ton of money is. It is where anybody who is trying to be one of the most powerful and wealthy people in the world, you're gonna go into Silicon Valley. So if you can get in there in some capacity, whether it's through and y'all know how I feel about college, whether it's through a school, whether it's through an internship, you need to take your ass out to Silicon Valley. That's where Apple is, that's where Google is, that's where Facebook is, that's where Uber is, that's where Twitter is, that's where uh, Snapchat's in Silicon Beach in LA, but like it's where everybody is. You need to get your ass out there if you can really make some shit happen. But, so Ryan Leslie is a tech millionaire, he's invested in all that shit, so he knows what's going on. Y'all think this shit is, is high level? Y'all, y'all think like this is like next level shit as you see my poo poo up on my on my screen? Like, dude, her and I look alike. Y'all can zoom in a little bit. Nah, don't zoom in on my phone. Nah, you know what I mean? I zoom in on my phone. Yeah, we, I guess we do look alike. Like, y'all think the phone is some shit? The phone ain't shit. It's nothing. This is the beginning. Like he said, there are going to be holograms of us where we'll be able to talk to our family, eight, nine, 10 generations from now. And it'll be completely a lifelike experience. It won't be that we're frozen in our eggs and they got us in some pod and they unthaw us in 2000 years. It ain't gonna be that. That probably gonna happen too. It's gonna be like they can recreate us. This is happening. All this content, all this facial recognition technology, all these filters, they're just, they're just taking all that shit in. They're taking it all in. And they'll be able to make specific holograms of us throughout our entire lives. The holograms are going to be able to be independent people. They're going to be able to have their own communities and shit. I mean, it's really going to be something. There's going to be hologram leagues. Like, we're going to be able to get the hologram of Wilt Chamberlain, the hologram of Michael Jordan, the hologram of Kobe Bryant, hologram of LeBron James, hologram of Pistol Pete Maravich. And they're going to be in a 
hologram NBA league because the NBA owns the licenses and the likeness to all those players when it comes to playing basketball. This is really going to happen. Am I high? I am high in a motherfucker Smoke right now. But this is real shit. They're going to be able to make songs with Beyonce's voice because she's recorded so much shit. Like, they know her speaking voice. They know her reign. And they'll be able to mimic it to the key, nigga. Like, the, the key of why her voice has made her so much money and almost a billionaire. They'll be able to make it sound exactly like her. And they'll make new songs with her voice that her hologram will perform on the Beyonce hologram tour 300 years from now. This shit's coming. It's not any sort of avoidable anything. This is coming. And either you wanna be in this shit or you not. If you don't wanna be in this, I don't know if you're doing yourself any justice following me on social media because it's only gonna remind you of all this stuff that's coming. If you wanna be in this, listen to what I'm about to say. Number one, you need to put out as much content as you possibly can. That way, when it comes to augmented reality, virtual reality, AI, however they're gonna do it, how they combine all the technologies, they will have more of an accurate depiction of who you are, which is gonna increase the worth of your hologram and your likeness, which is gonna increase the royalty rates and all that stuff and the checks that your family's gonna receive 10 generations from now. That leads me to my second point, number two, social media legislation hasn't caught up yet. When anybody plays the Lion King movie, Disney gets paid. When anybody plays I Just Want to Be a King from the Lion King movie, Disney gets paid. When anybody plays the Lion King video game and all that stuff and buys the dolls, Disney gets paid. If we talk about the Lion King on social media right now in this video, Disney's not getting paid. If I put the title of this video, The Lion King Part 3 or something, Disney's not going to get paid for that because there used to be no way to track that. Now it is. We're gonna start getting paid from all this stuff on social media. Once again, whoever puts out the most content is going to win because they're going to backtrack and might pay you for past content. But even if they don't do that, if you put out a lot of content now, you'll already have a brand established. So once the laws get put into place, you already be on the side where the laws won't hurt you because you are one of the influencers who put out a bunch of content before the laws were established. So you're someone who can help. If you get on the outside because you ain't put up enough content, now it's going to be way harder for you to get on that other side with us who are making money from putting out content on a daily basis. This is not crazy speak. This ain't alien talk. This is real shit. And either you want to be involved in it and make money or you don't. The last thing is you need to start making every decision in your life based off of it. Everything you type, everything you text, everything you put on your statuses, everything that you even think, what you put in, anything that you do, any email you sent is data that's being kept. Every single thing, anything you type into Google, anything you search for, wherever you go, secrets are no more. They don't exist because we all do everything on this. Bars, you start making decisions in your life based off of that. So that way you can start paying more attention to this shit and you can start making money from it or at least protect yourself from your family for things you might not want them to find out or know or even be involved with. Y'all been waiting on the future? We here now. What you gonna do about it? You know what I'm doing? I post content every goddamn day. And this is the primary reason why. Okay. You need okay. help figuring out your content strategy, what you okay. are good at, and how you can make money from it. You on Instagram, click the link up top. You on YouTube, click the link in the box. Mouth the pod. Y'all stay true.